Snappers, today I'll show you how a horse should be mounted. Should you have stuff first? <laughs> as, uh, as I was saying, the most important thing is to let the horse know which one of you is the master. Ow! Ow! Oh, come on, please, let go! Let go! Come on, all right, you're the master. <laughs> now we climb up into the saddle. Always keeping in mind that when mounting, the left side is the right side. Uh, what, what I mean is that the right side is, is the wrong side. Er, well, maybe, let me just demonstrate. There. <laughs> Wasn't that easy? Huh? Ah! <laughs> this, this mud reminds me of the time Camp Candy was played by rain. <laughs> Isn't this silly? Boy, did it rain. It seemed like 40 days and 40 nights of it. I think I already heard this story in Sunday school. Ah, Hi, kids. Oh, it's only John. So, how are my happy campers today? This should answer your question. Ready, gang? One, two, three. Four! Hey, kids, there are lots of things you can do when it rains. Really? Like what? I know what. We'll have a Camp Candy talent contest! Talent? You mean, like, perform? Exactly. You can each spend the day working on your act, and tonight we'll put on the show. But what if you don't have any talent? Iggy... Everyone can do something better than someone else. The fun is figuring out what your special talent is. I know what. Let's all keep our act a secret until tonight. It'll be more fun that way. Good idea, Robin. See? We're having fun already. Now let's get this show on the road. The kids really took the idea of a talent show. This might actually be fun. It's exactly like Star Search. What's your big talent? Painting your toenails? What's yours? Eating your bad springs? You'll see. It's a surprise. Well, you're wasting your time. I'm going to win, so there. Meanwhile, Robin was off recording the sounds of different animals for her part in the show. Hey, look. It's something with a tape recorder. Oh, wow! This could be a big chance to break into showbiz! I'd better warm up the old vocal cords. And don't make me fa so la ti do Forget it! They already have a show about singing chipmunks. No! Well, Iggy, what sort of act can I put you down for? Disappearing act. I'm not good at anything. A disappearing act? Great idea! You could do a magic act! Me? Why not? You'd make a terrific magician! It's no use, John. I just know they'll laugh me off the stage. Wrong, Iggy. They're your friends. They're gonna like whatever you do because they like you. Sure, I'll just bet. You really think so? I know so. Now, come on. See, you'll do your magic act in the show. Okay, I'll do it. All right. If you'll be my assistant. <laughs> Me? <laughs> in front of an audience? I, 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 I get stage fright. You said yourself, these are your friends. Oh, no. I, I said they were your friends. I, I'm their counselor. Don't worry, John. They're going to like you whatever you do. Uh... Finally, the rain stopped, and suddenly it was showtime. Nurse Molly agreed to act as our MC. Is that in case the audience gets sick? You want to hear about this or not? And so, <laughs> oh, please give a warm cat candy welcome to our first contestant. <laughs> oh, Vanessa and her quick change artistry. I wish I could wear fancy clothes the way Vanessa does. But you better not tell her I said so. And now, Robin and her impressions of our woodland creature friends. Wow, Robin's animal imitations are really great, huh? Don't I know it? I'll never be able to beat Robin. See, I can't even get these rings apart. It's simple. Here, let me show you how. You see, what you gotta do is you gotta... Oh, oh, oh. Well, you just keep practicing your other tricks while I, I go change. Oh. And now, 
Oh, oh, the flying feet of that dancing demon. <laughs> oh, Rick, the slip. Nervous as Iggy, but I didn't dare show my insecurity. Why not? In that up, you were showing everything else. Well, yes. And now, campers, last but by no means least, the amazing <laughs> Iggy! Yeah! Do we have to go through with this? I just know something awful is going to happen. Trust me, Iggy, nothing bad will happen. Now just go out there and break a leg. Do what? Uh, you're, forget that. It's just an old show business expression. What I meant to say was go out there and knock them dead. <laughs> no, I, I don't mean I. Oh, never mind. Let's just go. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness, I nearly forgot. This is the amazing Iggy's assistant, Ali Kazam. Oh, oh, <laughs> Kazam went wham! For my first trick, a little sleight of hand. Nurse Molly, if you'd kindly select a card. Oh no! What are you doing here, Mr. Bunny? You're supposed to be hiding under the table! Wait, come back! You're part of the show! I will now throw the cards in the air, and my faithful assistant will attempt to catch the one that Nurse Molly selected. Are you ready, Ali? Ready, Master. Whoa! I was afraid I was the one who fought. John, the audience is laughing at me. At least they're not walking out. Quick, do the rabbit trick. He can't. The rabbit just quit it's show business. It was a desperate moment. I had to do something and fast. Please watch closely as I pull a rabbit from my hat. Pocus, pocus, Jiminy Ocus. Ow! Oh, ouch! Uh, <laughs> instead of a rabbit, would you settle for a little hair? <laughs> You're laughing at me again. That's because you're really funny. It's time for the big finish. I'll get the dove ready. Quick, Binky, bring me the dove. I can't. You told me never to climb trees. <laughs> Once again, it was up to me to do something. And now for my grand finale. I shall attempt my greatest feat of all. Here, little dove. Come on, nice fella. There you go. Come on, little dove. <laughs> I shall now cover the empty cage with this magic cloth. Houdini, who done it? Who? It looked like the end of the show, and the end of me too. Then suddenly, a miraculous thing happened. The banner turned into a giant parachute and saved my life. I promised you the greatest feat of all, and here they are. <laughs> oh, and the winner of the talent contest is... <laughs> Big drum roll. Oh, no drum roll. Uh, the amazing Iggy. Oh, 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 oh. But they all laughed at me. Making people laugh takes talent, too. Gee, I guess you're right. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? <laughs> no, but there's something I've been wanting to do all evening. And it's this. <laughs> Campers, today we'll study the sport of precedence. Horseshoe pitching. First, we take careful aim. Smoothly swing our arm back. Then let it fly. Ow! Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I just did that 
to make a point. <laughs> oh. Like the one on top of your head? The point is that what we do can sometimes boomerang back at us. Like that time at Lake Cacciatore where I was giving the campers tips on boating safety. We were practicing small boat handling in rough weather. There's nothing like riding out a storm to put you in the pink. Oh, I might be green. Now the winds start to really whip up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on, John! We've got you! Whoa! creature trying to adapt to our highly evolved marine life form. They certainly have a long way to go. How true. I hear they haven't even learned to eat worms yet. Iggy, are you all right? I've probably caught pneumonia. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Iggy, you should have seen your face. I wish I had a camera. And I wish you'd grow up. You know, Rick, one of your practical jokes might hurt someone. Oh, I cool it, everybody. A good gag is hard to resist. <laughs> oh, Rick, you said a mouthful. The incident really shook Iggy up, but thanks to a little pep talk from me, he was soon able to relax. You call that relax? For Iggy, that's relaxed. Iggy, you're gonna love horseback riding. Are you sure it's safe? Of course. Horses are very gentle creatures. Unless some doofus gets them angry. Ah! Help! Killer Mustang! Help me, someone! I can't hold on much longer! Help! Hurry, you can't. You, you've got to save Rick! Forget it. It's just another one of Tricky Ricky's practical jokes. No, this time he really is in trouble. What if I kill the horse? I can't die. time more than his pride was hurt, but thanks to the miracle of modern medicine, he was soon on the road to recovery. Bandage! Bandage. Nurse Molly, we have to do something about this. Rick's jokes are getting seriously out of hand. You're right, John. Uh, I fear for everyone's safety. Oh, please don't mention Rick's name. I never want to see that joker again. Hi, Iggy. I'm really sorry about what happened. Here, these are for you. Yeah, sure. They're probably the kind that squirt water on your face. <laughs> Listen, everyone. I want to kick this joking habit, but I don't know if I can. Oh, Rick. We're going to help you do it. Really? How? You'll see, and I guarantee it will work. Rick was about to experience the major scientific breakthrough of the century. Nurse Molly's Joke Enders Clinic. There's nothing to worry about, Rick. Remember, everyone here is your friend. Let the de-joking treatment begin. Hit it, Binky. This story's getting pretty grim. Well, jokes are nothing to laugh about. Hey, Rick, watch the birdie. Watch the birdies is right. You can quit practical joking, Rick. It's as easy as hi. <laughs> Here, Rick, let me clean that off. Huh. 
I can't take any more. Hey, no hard feelings, Rick. Okay? Please, I'll never pull another practical joke. I promise. Oh, it's not as simple as that. We have to be certain you're cured. But, but, I am cured. This truth serum will soon tell us. No, no, please. No needles. Ah! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Rick was sure he was cured. And to prove it, he dumped his entire collection of practical joke equipment into Echo Canyon. Things quickly went back to normal. Iggy found himself a scary book to worry about. It was all about werewolves. The werewolf opened its ferocious jaws, revealing rows of razor-sharp fangs. Despite his good intentions, this temptation was too much for Rick to resist. I'll never have an opportunity like this. Just one more prank and then I'll quit. He raised his hairy face to the full moon and let out a blood-curling howl. Unfortunately, Rick's howling sounded just like the mating call of a real wolf. She didn't appreciate being tricked either. stick to his promise. Honest, it's true. There really is a wolf chasing him. Sure there is. I'm gonna get John. Right, you do that. I was sprucing up my cabin when Iggy found me. John! <laughs> What's wrong, Iggy? It hurts! A wolf chased him into Echo Canyon! Something in Iggy's eye told me that he was on the level. Echo Canyon? That place is full of wolves! Things didn't look too good for Rick. Hungry wolves had trapped him in a tree. See, there he is. Place Rick on the menu. Fellas, he wouldn't like me. I'm all bones and gristle. Piggy, animals can sense fear. <laughs> Try to stay calm, like me. It turned out Iggy had stumbled on the sack of practical jokes Rick had tossed into the canyon earlier. But I'm afraid wolves aren't exactly famous for their sense of humor. It was then that Iggy came up with a wild, crazy idea. One red hot hot dog coming up. Oh, I should have warned you not to wolf it down. And here's a little something for you. And this is for you. Here, have some sneezing powder. It'll clear your sinuses. Way to go, Eggy. got it in the end. <laughs> you get it? In the end? In the end, he got it right in the end. <laughs> well, that, that is funny. I thought of that myself. Oh, ah, gee. Iggy, I'll never pull another practical joke on you again. I promise. Would you care to put that in writing? Sure thing, dude.
like you said, Rick, a good gag is hard to resist.